Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here with a productivity tip for you slash method slash tool that uh, you can use for your creative business or passion project to start getting tasks done on a consistent basis. You know, there's a ton of tools out there um, that we ourselves have tried, uh, online tools for productivity, uh, for scheduling tasks and getting those notifications to pop up when you want, when you need to do that task, um, in writing things down in a planner. Uh, there's so many things out there that you can do, but it really comes down to finding the method that works for you to get your tasks done and on a consistent basis. It's so easy to write things down or to put stuff in a planner and um, and have and, and to look at that task, get some of them done and uh, you know maybe a phone call comes up or oh there's that thing with the friend that you need to do um, and then you don't get some of the tasks done and you end up going downhill and it ends up going like this where you have really good days and bad days of productivity and that just ends up flatlining your creative business or passion project. So you need to find a, pro a, a method, a productivity method that works for you so that you can actually start to see projects getting done and your business moving forward. And I'm going to share one method with you that has worked for Esatino. And it's really um, a method that will help those of you who, who, especially those of you, who are very visual and tactile, like needing to actually see things physically and, and um, moving things physically forward. And I'll explain what that means in a bit. So all you need is three things, essentially. A whiteboard, and um, the size of the whiteboard really depends on how many tasks you have within a two week period. So just keep that in mind. Um, we have a board that is about yay wide and this high. Um, not that huge, but it still allows us to work um, to work with it. If you have something that's small, like a, a paper, like an A4 size paper whiteboard, that might be a little bit too small. So just keep that in mind. So you need a whiteboard, you need some post-it notes, different colored post-it notes, and um, the color of post-it notes, the number of colors that you need really depends on how many projects you're working on right now. If you have more than five projects on the go, and by projects I mean, um, so for example, if you're working on your website, that's one project, and that will be one color of post-it note. If you are um, working on creating more content for your social media pages, uh, profiles, that is another con uh, a color and another project. If you are working on um, a marketing plan, that is another project. So if you have more than five of those, I want you to really try this method out with just three. Just focus on working on three projects. All right, so you need post-it notes and of course, dry erase markers for the whiteboard. Um, we particularly like to get the kind with the erasers on the ends and they come with different colors and you can find those at any store, um, any store that I was gonna say office supply store, but really even a drug store will have those for you. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take the whiteboard and divide it into three different sections. Uh, equal sections. So the first section is haven't started, you haven't completed the tasks. The middle section is in progress. And the last section is completed. And what you're going to do with your post-it notes is we're going to do this in uh, one week sprints. So for all of your tasks that you need to complete in the week ahead, I want you to write each task down on a separate uh, post-it note and use the color that applies to that project. So for example, if you know you need to change a certain picture on your website, use the same color for all of your website tasks and write that task down. Just write down change picture from this to this on website. And that's all you need to do. Don't write down any dates or anything like that. Just write write it down on the post-it note. 
write, write the task down, the specific task. Don't be so vague like um, change picture on website. Actually write down change picture from this to this so it doesn't require any thinking. When you look at that post-it note, you know exactly what you need to do. So you're going to be writing down all of your tasks for your different projects that you need to complete in one week. And then you are going to, I'm going to show you what this looks like. This is what it looks like. So after you've divided your board into having completed, in progress, and completed, you're going to put down all of your tasks on the haven't completed side, just like that. And what you're going to do throughout the week is you're going to be physically moving each task across the board to completion. So if you can, I hope you can see this, in the middle we have the in progress um, section right here. And we've divided it into 25%, 50%, and 75%. And you don't need to do that. That's just something that is helpful for us to see what amount of completion that task has achieved. Um, you can just leave this blank without the percentages, but if you like, you can divide it into those percentages so that whenever you are starting to work on a task, you can say at the end of the day that you've 50% completed it, um, and then you know that it's in progress, so the next day you want to move it across to completion all the way to the other side of the board. So, let me just move that back, because that might screw us up. Um, just to give you an example of some tasks, uh, like I said, website, complete analysis service page. This is the yellow section over here is for Estatino slash website uh, clients, client work. That's the yellow, um, for example. Here, the blue is all of our online courses, tasks associated with our online courses, like uh, start filming the new course. I'm not going to say what the course is, but it says that on the, on the sticky note. Um, so hopefully that is something that you, can guide, that you guys can clearly see on the camera there. But essentially, the whole idea is to be physically seeing those tasks moving across the board to completion. Um, the whiteboard may not be something that you can take around with you wherever you work. So this is something that you can, every day in the beginning of your day, if you know you're going to be out of the office or out of your house or wherever you work from, you can take a look at the haven't completed and take a look at what tasks are, are needing to get done. Um, you can even order them in terms of priority in the haven't completed section. So you know right away at the top, those are the tasks that you need to complete. So in the beginning of your day, take a look at the tasks and use your planner. This is something as well that I do is um, using your planner to physically write down, okay, I need to get that task done and that task done. Write it down in the day with little check boxes beside it. And then you're going to be leaving for the day. Wherever you are, you're going to get those tasks done. Come back at the end of the day to your board and move that sticky note either to completed, yay, or to in progress, depending on how much of that task you've completed. So hopefully that is uh, something that can help you guys out. Like I said, you won't really know um, how it, you won't really know the effect of this until you actually dive into it and start playing with it. Um, and it may work for you, it may not, but this is just something that I'd like to share that has definitely worked for us. It's allowed us to complete a lot of projects, a lot of tasks, just simply because it's something physical that we can see, that we know we need to get from one, one side of the board to the other side of the board. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. If, if so, please give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome tips, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.